There are videos demonstrating how to run VirtualBox VMs from an external USB drive. Nothing really special there, as you just specify the VM location in the VM settings, provided you have the space on the external drive. Then, when you take your USB drive to another system with VirtualBox installed, you can just run from there by clicking the Add button. Cool, I guess. Well, Hyper-V, which is native to Windows 10, Windows 11 Professional, Enterprise, Education, and Windows Server, can do precisely the same thing. Run a VM from an external USB drive. In this example, we'll use a Windows 10 professional client to create and run a Kali Linux Hyper-V VM from a 64 gigabyte USB flash drive. Then we'll take this USB drive to another computer running Windows Server 2025 and run the same VM. Install the Hyper-V feature. However, if VirtualBox is installed, you have to disable the VirtualBox system service. Open Control Panel, search for Services, and click View Local Services. Scroll down to the VirtualBox system service, open, and set the startup type to disable. In the Control Panel search box, type Programs and click Turn Windows Features On or Off. Click the Hyper-V checkbox. Likewise, from an administrative or elevated PowerShell session, use the Enable Dash Windows Optional Feature commandlet. Reboot when completed. In Hyper-V Manager, right-click your computer name, New, Virtual Machine. Under Specify Name and Location, check the Store the Virtual Machine in a Different Location checkbox and click Browse. Navigate to the External USB Flash Drives letter and folder and click Select Folder. Continue with the configuration. At the Connect Virtual Hard Disk section, verify the USB flash drive's letter and folder path. Be mindful of the virtual disk size and the flash drive's capacity. Although by default, new Hyper-V disks are dynamically expanding, meaning they will only take the space necessary, you'll want to be cognizant of available space. Complete configuring your virtual machine. In Hyper-V Manager, note the VM's configuration version number. We'll need to know this later. Right-click the virtual machine, select Settings, and adjust where necessary. Install your chosen operating system. In Windows Explorer, open the flash drive and view the contents. Under the folder with the same name as the virtual machine, there should be two folders, virtual hard disks and virtual machines. The virtual hard disk folder contains the .vhd or .vhdx file, which represents the VM's disk. As you can see, only the necessary space was consumed. The virtual machine's folder stores the virtual machine files, but these binary files cannot be edited directly. On the other computer, open Hyper-V Manager. Right-click on a computer name and select Import Virtual Machine. Under Locate Folder, click Browse. Notice that since your flash drive is connected to a different computer, the drive letter has changed. Open the drive and the folder containing the virtual machine and click Select Folder. At the Choose Import Type section, select the Register the Virtual Machine in Place radio button. This is what keeps the virtual machine located on the external USB flash drive. We'll check and compare the unique ID once the import is complete. If you see an error about Connect Network, select the connection that closely matches the original adapter. You can select Not Connected and configure later if necessary. Complete the import. Again, take note of the configuration version. Right-click the virtual machine. 
ignore the Upgrade Configuration Version option. We'll discuss that later. Select Settings to check or modify if desired. Any PowerShell session, use the get-vm commandlet to check the VM ID, which is the unique ID. Notice that the VM ID is the same between the Hyper-V host computers. Start the virtual machine. Hyper-V configuration versions represent a virtual machine's compatibility and availability of new features and improvements. In this demonstration, the Hyper-V that ships with Windows 10 and Windows Server 2019 and 2022 has a configuration version of 9. The Hyper-V that ships with Windows 11 24H2 and Windows Server 2025 has a configuration version of 12. Windows 11 and Server 2025 can open version 9 VMs, but Windows 10 and Windows Server 2019 and 2022 cannot open version 12 VMs. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.